Hi everyone, welcome back to this week's episode of Science Live with Activate Albany. I'm Rachel and today we're going to be extracting iron from fortified cereal. Um, so today you're going to need a few items. Um, one is going to be a cereal that's been fortified. You can see the iron content on the back of the cereal box. Today we're using some Honey Nut Cheerios. Um, a piece of white paper, clear plastic wrap, and a neodymium, neodymium uh, super magnet. This is um, one of the most important parts of it because sometimes a regular um, uh, refrigerator magnet isn't strong enough. However, you can find one of these um, at your local hardware store um, for just a few dollars. However, to be very careful with these, don't get it close to any electrical items or cell phones because it can cause damage to them. So we're going to get started. You're going to take your cereal and either in a plastic bag or a mortar pestle or a container, you're just going to crush it up really fine. All right, so we've just crushed up our Cheerios into a little fine powder. You want to get them as thin as possible and the particles as tiny as you can. If you have a food processor at home, um, you can use that as well as a blender. And then we're just going to take them and pour it right onto a white sheet of paper. It's not necessary, but I'm um, having a plain background kind of helps with seeing the iron particles afterwards. And we're just going to spread that out really thin. Next, we're going to take a piece of clear plastic and lie it right over the top. And then you can take your magnet and just run it right over. Now it'll take a few more minutes to run it over, but eventually you'll see a couple of iron particles sticking to the plastic. And let's see if I can get a good amount for you guys. So as you can see, we've got little bits of iron sticking to our cereal. We'll put a shot in. Iron is added to our cereal because without fortification, um, most cereals don't have a lot of nutritional value. Iron is very important in creating hemoglobin in our blood red blood cells, and without that, um, we won't be able to produce, um, move oxygen around our bodies, and um, they also help with um, any type of deficiencies and help fight infections as well. And that concludes our episode of Activate Albany, and I'll see you guys next week.